Hello and good day. Welcome back. Today we have another Omega 2000 that I believe has been corrupted, ruined, destroyed by a leaky battery. Um, at this moment it's just the case and the board and now I'm thinking about um, do I put another 68,000 chip in there and see if anything's working or do I just yank the chips? And I'm still pondering that. So, welcome to my world as I ponder. We'll get some light on the subject. And here is the Omega 2000. And if I hold it up better, you may be able to see right in there, down below. Oh, yeah, right under here. There's a battery. That's not good. And I think you can see the remnants of the sludge. Anyway, this board or machine has all the chips in it except the 68,000. So, I am a little leery because the last time I had a machine kind of like this and I was diddling around with 68,000 chips and popping them out and seeing what was what, I broke a pin. And it was because the socket, I think, had been compromised by the sludge. And as I look at this, I believe this socket also has been compromised by the sludge. So, or corrosion or whatever. So, I want to tread carefully. I do. So, uh, here is the machine. So, oh, yeah, this one's dirty. Ooh. I, I don't know where this, oh. Ooh. I don't know where this had a rough life, but it looks like it did have one. Oh dear, 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 dear. Well. Decisions. There's an awful lot of dirt in here. This is an older board, I can tell, because it's got a whole whack of RAM chips. Lots of them. Probably 32. They seem to travel in groups of eight. They do. Well, I mean, this is looking a lot worse than a lot of the other ones I've looked at, and I think, uh, well, I think I'm going to go around for a second, and I'm going to turn on the close-up cam, and then I will decide. But I, for sure, I'm going to be very, very careful if I do opt to put or try to put a 68,000 chip into this machine. So, let's see where we're at here. I think we have a good view and we are focused. So here we have a badly damaged Omega 2000 circuit board. At least it looks badly damaged. It does. So, there is a lot of dirt and sludge along in here, all down here. Um, but most importantly, or worst, is the battery. Aha, uh -huh, look. Screwdriver. The battery, which is right there, is still there. That's not good. Not good. 
So, I do not have a 68,000 chip right handy. And the one that was in here, I think it almost, this is, by the way, here we have an Amiga 500, this is the one I've been testing. So what I'm going to do, just because there's always a chance, and I hate to think that I would not do everything possible to save a circuit board. I don't believe this is going to work. I'm going to be very careful. By the way, this is how I take chips out. I take a screwdriver and I very carefully go all the way down, all the way down. Aha, there. Trying desperately not to bend and weaken any pins. So there. There we have this borrowed 68,000 chip. And yes, I can see the one pin did try to do that. So as I look at this, there doesn't appear to be anything wrong with the socket. So I'm going to do as I usually do. not what I usually do. I have the witness mark, this mark right here, corresponding with the witness mark on the socket. And I'm going to very gently and carefully try and push this in. Hmm. And it went in. Well, that is a good sign. It is. So now, looking around, everything looks to be there. So, I guess um, we need a we need a power supply, and perhaps the. sort of assembly that would hold such a thing. So yeah. Okay, so here I, I never liked the location of the floppy drive thing. It just gets in the way. And you probably can't see that very well, neither can I. slide this into position, try not to hurt the ribbon cable. Why is it not sitting nice? Why is it not sitting nice? Probably because of the ribbon cable, maybe. Oh, okay. So that is sitting nice. And now I bring in the power supply. We are not going to spend a whole lot of time fastening these in because really I have a good idea of what's going to happen. Well, I don't have a good idea. I have an idea. And I'm not thinking there's going to be any smoke or anything. Oh. But you never know. So, we have... The power supply is secure. Well, not secure, but it's plugged in. Oh yeah, there's corrosion on the back of this board. I have a bad feeling this is probably just a waste of time. But anyway, we have the power connector onto the board. We have the disk drive thing, um, driven cable onto the board. Um, there's not much else to do. Except turn it on and see that it doesn't work. It could work. But it will not. I just hope nothing bad happens. So. is spinning. 
the fan is anyway. The disk drive is making no noises. The screen is not flashing. But Sheldon is back. I have a cat named Sheldon, did you know? Hi, Sheldon. How are you doing? Hi. Oh, Sheldon. Oh, this is really not the best time, but okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, Sheldon. So, Sheldon, I'm just... Let's go. Oh, <coughs> Sheldon. Hang on. We're not doing well here. Okay, there. Um... Yeah, you remember Sheldon. There, Sheldon. Okay, okay, hold on there. There we go. So, um, this Amiga is doing much as I suspected, which is nothing. So, it seems we're now going to become scavengers. Oh, hello. Hello, Sheldon. Four chips. Okay, Sheldon, i got to carry on with this Amiga here. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I have to carry on with this. Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello to the people? Do you want to say hello so good? Yes, oh. I know, Sheldon. Okay, there you go. Nice, Sheldon. Okay, so Sheldon, if you would... Hello. If you would just let me carry on with this. I'll be done real soon, because this Amiga is not working. It's just not. It's not working. It's not working. I know, I know. Okay, Sheldon, I'm going to put you down very gently, gently. There you go. Thank you for coming. Yeah. We've got to get the brush to you, Sheldon. Okay, thank you. Okay, Sheldon. So, as this had a, has now had a moment to warm up, I'm going to turn it off. Hi, Sheldon. I just need a few minutes. I'm going to turn it back on and just see if anything else changes. Oh, you can't get up here, Sheldon. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't. You can stretch out. There you go. Okay, so much as I suspected. We are in the recovery operation. Okay. So, don't you like? So, be gently and carefully. Oh, boy, they sure made this power connector to stay. Okay. So, by the way, I did have that in right. Yeah, I did. Okay. Double checking that I had the the video output plugged in, and I did. Okay, so yeah. the power supply is out. I'm going back down. Oh dear! Somebody is calling. And now this I pull out. Floppy distract controller that is on the board. So we're back to the board, and I'm not sure. Maybe if I tilt this up a bit and get a view of what's up here, and what's up here is um, filth. So, as I said, I'm not surprised it didn't work. The first thing I'm going to do is rescue the 68,000 chip. I am as gently and carefully as possible. Well, I put the screwdriver way down. And sometimes I will come back from this side try and prevent pins from being bent. And I think we've done a pretty fine job there.
So, I am going to get this Omega 500 back up here, and without further ado, sorry, I'm not sure you can see this, but i got to make sure I do this right. Line everything up, push it in, and it is in. And just because I'm worried that something has gone amiss. Let's see here. Do, do, do. Here, underneath here, comes the power supply cord for the Omega 500. And is it plugged in? I think it is. So, just a moment. We can set this down in here. I think it fits pretty nicely. And I will get... I will get... I will. Oh! There's the video cable. It's still in the Omega 2000. Okay. So, let's just turn this on. And, excellent, we have done no harm. Um, this still is coming up, it has 2.0 ROMs in it, and it is asking for workbench. So, we have done no harm. Alright, so now I think it is time for me to take a little break and think about my next move in the uh, harvesting operation. So, I'm going to come around, turn off the close-up camera, So, as much as I wish that was not how things went, I am not at all surprised that that is how things went. Because it looks like, well this machine I think, it, it, it didn't have a top on it, it was out in the garage, and I don't think it got like horribly, well it, it's the battery, but I think there was also probably, you know, condensation because in the winter it gets cold and, you know. Oh dear. All right. Let there be less light. So we will continue to assess and rescue whatever can be rescued from this Omega 2000 board. Next time. Until then, I remain David Bradley. Bye for now.